Well, welcome back to Barley and Hops. I'm George. Yes, excited to be here again as always. We are this much closer. And if you've been following these videos, um, we're taking a step-by-step -step approach to the proof and trail hydrometer with the parrot head, the talking proof and trail hydrometer um, that operates off of an Arduino. Yes, and I'll put the link up here for the playlist because I'm putting this all into one playlist so that you can start from the beginning and work your way through it piece by piece, which is something that, of course, I recommend. But, yes, you need to be a subscriber. Yes, be a subscriber. Uh, join in the team. Yes, like the video and comment below. Now, um, we've taken this to the next level. I know you love our whiteboard explanations and demonstrations, and we've taken this to the next level. I'm going to show you exactly how to wire this piece by piece, wire by wire, uh, using a new piece of technology that I've acquired, and I'm really, really excited about it, so let me share that with you now. Welcome to our whiteboard on steroids. We're here to assemble and wire up the parrot head. So let's get right at it. Now as we get to wiring uh, everyone should be familiar with these items. These are the basic components um, and again this is going to be one of a hundred ways to do this but this is the most direct and simplest. This is your SD card reader. All right. This is our LM 386 amplifier. Here we have our time of flight sensor and of course here is our Arduino. This is the Uno. Now let's wire this. The first thing that we want to make sure that we have um, is our Arduino wired to our time of flight sensor. Okay? Now in order to do that we have the option of you see these four connectors here? These are four solder pins on the time of flight sensor. Now they directly correspond to the four wires located right here. So this connection and this connection are exactly the same connections. You can either solder wires into here or plug wires into here. And I've opted to plug them in. Now to further illustrate the benefit of this, I've already wired these two. This is the SDA which is the, the, your data carrier and your SCL connection. And that's written on the back of the Arduino. Now I've already, like I said, I've already put those in there. Um, the only thing that leaves me, see, and that takes care of this one, and it takes care of this one. The only thing I have left now is my 3.3 volts in my ground. And if you'll notice over here, I've got these two. There's one and there's the other. Those are what the pins look like. So you'll just need these kind of wires for the rest of your uh, wiring phase because you've got to connect. You'll have a male on one end and you'll have females on the other. So I'll take this, this black one, which is the ground, and I'll go down here and I'm just going to plug that in right there to one of the grounding points. Now there's two here, but I'm only going to plug it into one of them. Then... I'll take the red and I'll plug that into the 3.3 volt pin connector which is located right there. Now that's it. That connects the time of flight sensor to the Arduino. So when the Arduino is powered up your time of flight sensor is going to operate. Now remember we still have to load the program into this location right here via our computer. And we'll show you that as well. That's not that difficult. The next thing that we want to connect is 
our SD card reader. And in doing so, we have the same situation here. We see we have a ground. And you can take this ground pin, and there happens to be one located right there, which is kind of convenient. Then we have the requirement for 5 volts. And this is your power pin. And see, this is where the female end of those, pit, those wires come in handy. We're going to drag this one all the way over here, and we're going to connect it. You see that? 5 volts. And we're going to insert that into the 5 volt pin. This gets easier as it goes along. Then we have the MISO. And your MISO goes into pin number 12. So we go from here, we go into pin number 12, and then your MOIS, which is the next one, goes from here, goes into pin number 11. And that takes care of that. Now, once you get that connected, you have one other pin here, which is known as your SCK and your SCK pin goes to none other than pin number 13 so what we've been it, it well in actuality with, with this last pin this CS which is the channel select your channel select is going to actually go very simply we're going to, this is going to plug right in down here to pin number 4 okay and that's how your Arduino is going to talk with your SD card. So what we've done in essence is, you see, we've only used these pins on this side, and so far only these on this side. See, we've got SD card reader, we've got time of flight sensor, and we've got Arduino all connected together and they're going to work together. Now, we need to connect our amplifier. To connect our amplifier, it also requires a 5 volt source. Now, you'll notice on the Arduino that there's only one 5 volt pin. So your choice is, um, really, you're, you're kind of limited. Uh, my recommendation is that you just splice it in to that 5 volt that came from the 5 volt pin located over here and just splice it into the same one that gives you the 5 volts now next you have the pin that's marked in that's where the signals coming in from the Arduino to the amplifier to be amplified as a sound signal that goes out and it goes from here this goes into pin number 10 so, pin number 10 is connected, which leaves us only one last one. You guessed it. We have two ground connections here. You can use either one of them. One ground wire goes over here to the other grounding plug right there. Now what we have is we have our amplifier, our SD card reader, our time of flight sensor, and Arduino all connected together in one big happy family. Now that I know looks like a hot mess. The only thing that we're missing of course is the speaker because in order to make this thing talk we need to have some way to make it speak. The two wires we're missing is one hot wire that goes to the speaker and one ground wire and there you go and just remember that this potentiometer located right here this is the you can turn the volume up or turn the volume down on that amplifier that's it my friends you have just connected everything you need in order to make this entire electronic component operate the way you want it to operate now some other key funks, key features you need to be aware of is right here we have a port for a 9 volt battery. 
if you want to use a 9 volt battery for your power source. Uh, but that's not absolutely necessary. You, I mean, you can do that if you like to, or your USB port. And that comes from your computer. And that will also make it operate. Now, one of the other things that you need to be aware of on the Arduino, and you may hear me say it from time to time, oops, I went a little bit too, there you go, is this is your reset button. So instead of turning it off and turning it back on or plugging it in or unplugging it, you just push the reset button, and that will start the program from the very beginning again. And there's where your program is stored. So, my friends, questions? Now, I hope that really made sense. It was a lot of fun to do. And, oh, by the way, I think we got it just about right. Uh, you can follow through with that um, wire by wire uh, in order to make this thing operate. Um, and, again, it is relatively simple. Just take it step by step. Now, I have an addition that I want to share with you because when I wire this up, and on the next video, when we actually do the download and uh, we load up the program and we make it actually function, um, I'll be using, uh, again, the, the Uno. But I've got these adapters that I'm going to place on the ends of it. And I'll show you a picture of it right here. These are the adapters that go on the sides. And what they do is they give me a little bit more capability. Um, what they allow me to do is they allow me to use these screws to screw in the wires so that I get a really good tight fit plus it extends um, an additional 5 volt port and another ground so it gives me just a little bit more capability and these plug into the sides of the Arduino and the pins line up exactly as you would expect them to and then they just plug right in so this is sort of a plug and play adaptation uh, and an extension of your Arduino as it already is. So, looking forward to sharing that with you here in the very near future. You know, it's coming. The hail moon shining on the horse of five. I'm so tired I can hardly drive. Black jacked up 